So here's the setup I'm going to be using tonight for the live debunk. The scope or lens here is a modified Ruben R 1000 F10. It has been internally modified to bring it down to a 500 F5. It is mounted on a Skywatcher EQ6R Pro with a remote mechanical focuser and an ASI 294 Pro mounted on the back. Due to the internal modifications, this lens now has a registration distance equal to that of a C-mount lens. There's no way you can put a regular camera on here. It's all wired up. And will be connected to the computer inside. In addition to that, is going to be this little guy, which is going to monitor the mount so that when I point it at the moon and I come out here to put the solar filter on, you will be able to see me physically mount the solar filter on here. So there's there's going to be no hiding of anything. Now the solar filter is here in this little bag. Go ahead and open this up. Now here's the solar filter. This is a Thousand Oaks solar filter. It is an ISO certified solar filter, so it is a true solar filter. So what I will do is I will start by pointing at the moon, then I will come out, mount this solar filter on, put the camera in auto exposure mode so that it will take however long of an exposure it needs to to see the moon through a solar filter. Now the video that Brian's logic linked to showed the moon supposedly through a solar filter at 60 frames per second. I can guarantee that's not going to happen here. Even with this incredibly sensitive camera on it and a fast optic, it's not going to happen. So stay tuned. <laughs> 